Dr. Abdul Kalam has one of the most remarkable lives of any influential individual in history. So let's delve into the captivating story of a man whose journey from humble beginnings to becoming a renowned scientist and beloved leader has left an indelible mark on the world. This is the extraordinary, awe-inspiring life of one of the greatest visionaries and Indian presidents of all time, Dr. Abdul Kalam. Dr. Abdul Kalam was born on October 15, 1931, to a poor Tamil Muslim family in Rameshram, a small town at the southernmost tip of India. His family was very poverty-stricken for much of his childhood, and as a young boy, he had to sell newspapers to help keep his family afloat. Despite all of this, his thirst for knowledge pushed him to overcome all of these obstacles and pursue his dreams. Despite these financial constraints, Abdul Kalam was driven by his insatiable curiosity, and this led him to excel academically. After completing his school education, he secured a place at the esteemed Madras Institute of Technology. And it was here that he embarked on his journey to become one of the world's most brilliant aerospace engineers. Abdul Kalam's scientific contributions are truly exemplary. His pioneering work in the fields of space and missile technology placed India on the global map. He played a crucial role in the development of India's first satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3, and the successful test firing of the country's first indigenous satellite launch vehicle, PSLV. Dr. Kalam's unfathomable dedication towards revolutionizing India's technological landscape propelled him to spearhead various defense research projects. Under his guidance, India successfully carried out the Pokhran II nuclear tests that reinforced India's place as a nuclear power. And as well as that, he helped develop strategic missiles such as Agni and Prithvi, showcasing the nation's scientific prowess. He was presented with India's third highest civilian award, the Padma Bhushan, in 1981. India's second highest award, the Padma Vibhushan, in 1990, and India's highest civilian award, the Bharat Ratna, in 1997, to honor his incredible work for bringing India's aerospace and defense capabilities to the level of the world's superpowers. Dr. Abdul Kalam's contribution to society extended far beyond his scientific achievements. His compassionate nature led him to champion education, especially for underprivileged children. He firmly believed that education is the key to unlocking the full potential of people and empowering them to build a better future. For this reason, Dr. Kalam's birthday, October 15th, is celebrated every year as World Students' Day. In 2002, Dr. Kalam's unwavering dedication to public service fully materialized when he became the President of India, with support from both major political parties. His presidency was marked by his immense popularity, simplicity, and his aptitude for connecting with people from all walks of life. Dr. Kalam's incredible ability to inspire young minds and the rousing support he gained from the Indian people earned him the affectionate nickname the People's President. Seeing all of President Kalam's achievements during this time, we might come to the conclusion that his life is all successes. But he has stated in many of his speeches and interviews that when he was younger, his dream was to study at the Indian Institute of Science, the IISC, and then to work in the Indian Air Force. But there were just eight spots at the Indian Air Force that were available and he placed ninth in the rankings, just narrowly missing his dream job of becoming an Air Force pilot. But decades later, Dr. Kalam entered the Indian Institute of Science campus as the President of India to confer the degrees for students at the convocation. And as the head of state and the head of all three armed forces, including the Indian Air Force, he flew the Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jet plane, achieving the dream he barely missed years ago of a fighter jet pilot. Aiming high, working hard, consistently learning, and never giving up have been Dr. Kalam's four important teachings to the youth. 
The life message of the great Dr. Abdul Kalam is to never give up hope. Just keep trying until the last minute. In the words of Dr. Kalam himself, if you fail, never give up. Because F-A-I-L means first attempt in learning. Dr. Abdul Kalam's legacy is one that will forever inspire generations to come. His numerous books, including Wings of Fire and Ignited Minds, continue to motivate individuals worldwide to pursue their dreams and contribute positively to society. Even after his passing on July 27, 2015, Abdul Kalam's teachings and philosophies live on, acting as a guiding light for those who aspire to leave a lasting impact on the world. His vision for a self-reliant India and his unwavering belief in the power of youth have truly become beacons of hope. And there have been many universities and educational institutions that have been named on behalf of Dr. Abdul Kalam, including Dr. Abdul Kalam Technical University in Lucknow, Dr. Abdul Kalam Technological University in Tiruvannantapuram, Kalam Institute of Health Technology in Vishakhapatnam, and countless others. And so, the extraordinary life of Dr. Abdul Kalam. An amazing journey from a small town in India to becoming the president of the nation. This man has left a truly indelible mark on history. From his humble beginnings, to his groundbreaking scientific achievements, to his compassionate spirit and his constant pursuit for knowledge, Dr. Abdul Kalam stands as an everlasting source of inspiration to ignite the fire within the people to pursue your dreams and make a positive difference in the world, just as President Abdul Kalam did. No dream is too big, no goal too distant. In the words of Dr. Kalam, a small aim is a crime. So have a great aim. Thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.